Hello, hello, welcome to Shady White. Here we are with part two of our Goodwill Blue Box. Hope everybody's doing great. I am. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers on eBay, Poshmark, um, Etsy, and YouTube. Um, as I said, this is part two of our Goodwill Blue Box from Nashville, Tennessee. So if you didn't see part one, I'm going to put it over. I think it's over here. It could be over here, but I think it's over here um, in the corner. And just click on that when you're done with this and go check it out. So I'm going to push this over to the side. Um, this is all um, earrings, rings, things such as that. And um, let's see what we can have here. We have a wood green bracelet, um, bangle rather. It is two and five eighths of an inch by seven eighths of an inch. And I'm gonna say it is pretty true to um, what it is on the screen. Um, it's like a bluish green. So I'm just gonna say a dollar. This is pretty, this is very pretty. This is a seat bead necklace with a wrap back. So um, it's uh, been used definitely. So, um, but it is gorgeous coral color seat beads. These are beautiful. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 strands. And it really hangs nicely. So I'm gonna say let's do um, $9 for the seed bead necklace. These are a gorgeous color. Um, oh, I forgot to give you a measurement on that. Let's see how long this is. It is 32 inches. Very nice. It's a little bit more light. This is really pretty. These are kind of a orangey pink color, orangey red. They are acrylic and a gold tone. Lobster class, 16 inches with a two inch extension. So I'm just gonna say a um, dollar. This is really cool. It needs to be cleaned up on the inside. It's a silver tone, but there's no missing um, faux pearls or rhinestones. They're Aurora Borealis and white and black. Um, and the center line looks to be like a coral color or an amber color rather. The size of this is two and a half inches and it is um, a little over three-fourths of an inch. So I'm going to say just two dollars. Then we have, and this is from part one, but the good thing about this is it's a magnet. So we can use this to see if any of this, let's see which side's a magnet. <laughs> there we go. So magnetic, magnetic. Magnetic. Okay, so even if you forget to bring a magnet, you can always find one. All right, first off, this, this one, has a name. Let's see what that says. It's just a tag that says nothing and it's in a copper color. So I'm gonna do all the bangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bangles. And they're all the same size thereabouts. Um, 
two and three fourths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight bangles, I'm gonna say two dollars. Now these two are not magnetic. Is that it? A gold tone on the edges and a bluish color. They're really small. They are two and three eighths of an inch. So for two of those, I'm gonna say a dollar. Now this one's interesting. This one is not magnetic and it is purple with these little, are they rhinestones or just cutouts? Okay, it's a silver tone. Um, bracelet or bangle painted purple and then these notches are the silver coming through notched out um, it is really bendable it is two and three eight two and three eighths so I'm just gonna say a dollar this one is magnetic and it's really small but it's really heavy it is magnetic, as I said. It is two inches across, and um, that's what it looks like. It's pretty thick. I'm gonna say it's a little over, yeah, it's a quarter of an inch, and it's rounded. So I'm gonna say $2 for that one. And this one's magnetic, super light, so it is, did I give it, yeah, I did. Um, two and five eighths and this one's just a dollar. Now these, this one's magnetic, um, gold tone, um, two and three fourths. So um, it's just gold tone bangle. So I'll put that this with the other bangles. So that'd be nine. And then this one is notched. Let's see if it's not magnetic it is two and five eighths so just a dollar for that one now this one's really cool um let's see i'm not oh there's a name this is sterling and it's spelled out s-t-e-r so it's an older piece oh look I'm gonna get it on my hand. That's nice. I like that. So that's a good size. Let's measure that for you. It is two and five eighths. So I'm gonna say let's do um let's do 15 for the sterling bracelet. Very nice. No name. It is a um lobster class. And the best way for me to describe this, it's like embroidery yarn so um it's a gold wash with yarn and then these rings um and then more yarn rings and they're tied um so it's quite interesting the rings are magnetic and a gold tone the green yarn is in really good condition it is green, a, a beautiful green, and it is 36 inches. So let's say this is just really nice and soft also, great condition. So I'm gonna say let's do um, just $7. All right, this one is quite interesting. I'm not seeing a name, let's see. No, but isn't this cool? This is missing no rhinestones. It could be cubic zirconia because they're open in the back. It's a gold tone, really nice feeling.
it is not magnetic. It does have some scratches, but check this out. It has three clasps. They're all fold over. And so you could add links to it. There's no additional ones here, but you could add or um, take out this center part. So it's a choker. Um, like I said, I'm not seeing a name on this, but this is well done. Let's open this one and get a full measurement. It is 18 inches, but if you took out that extension, um, that centerpiece, it would probably be 16 inches. So I'm going to say, let's do, um, that's pretty nice. Like I said, not magnetic. So I'm going to do um, $12 on this one. Okay, let's see if this one has a name. So far, we haven't found anything that had a name. Oh, not much. I think we've had a few pieces. This is pretty though. Oh, this might have a name. It's a loft. I think this is our first loft piece. Ann Taylor Loft. And it's cool. There you go, like so. This is 36 inches. And these are great. I love these. So let's do let's do eight dollars for the Ann Taylor Loft. Now this is a time and true. Um, and it's just little polished pebbles. It is a open cuff, two and a half inches. So I'm just gonna say $2. This is a pretty piece. It has two lobster class, so it probably had another piece, but it only has this piece right now. But I really like these open um, chains and then um, single chain at the top. It is 26 inches, so let's do $5. And it is magnetic. So we have this piece, I believe it is clay. Um, pressed clay with a leaf, a very pretty. Um, there's the back. It could be a paper clay also. You can see the press. So it could be pressed paper. Really cool cord. The cord is tied at the end and it is 26 inches and the leaf is two inches by an inch. I think this is very pretty and that's the sound of it. So um, let's just do, this is really cool, very organic like. So I'm gonna say, and natural. So I'm gonna say, let's do $10. I love that piece. Here we have silver tone I found another magnet it's a magnet on the back doesn't take much not magnetic it is has a little knot right there so it is I'm gonna say 16 inches with a three inch extension. Um, these are probably cubic zirconia because they have the holes in the back. I don't have my presidium with me, so um, we're just going to have to wing it. So I'm going to say let's do, it's very pretty, so let's just do $7. This is a 
this is a cute, cute piece. It's a poodle, French poodle, with a French cut on a chain. It is, let's see. The chain is magnetic, the poodle is not. It is on a 16 inch chain with a one inch extension. The poodle is too cute. It is, oops, one inch by three fourths of an inch. Could I drop one more thing? <laughs> so I'm going to say, let's do, let's do 12. It's very cute. Oh, and it's 3D. Yeah, there's the front, back, side, side. This is on a fold over clasp. It needs to be polished. It is just a gold tone. It is magnetic. It is. Open that up. Sixteen inches. Um, a very pretty though, so I'm just going to say let's do $6. No name. Here we have a owl with rhinestone eyes, aurora borealis rhinestones sitting on a branch. There's the back. It's on a corded chain that ties at the top. It is 26 inches with the owl being two and a quarter inch by one and three fourths of an inch. So I'm just gonna say $5 for the owl. And this one, no name, lobster clasp, very pretty. It has um, cat's eye um, beads that are green. And this is acrylic, um, a faceted stone. Um, and then these are acrylic also. It is 16 inches with a one inch drop and a two inch extension. It is magnetic. So I'm just gonna say, it's pretty. So I'm just gonna say $5. Here we have um, unsigned um, silver tone, not magnetic, bracelet, very pretty. It's a panel bracelet with a fold over clasp. It is seven and a half inches, so I'm, it's not signed, so I don't know if it is sterling or stainless steel, but I know it's silver tone. <laughs> so let's say um, it does have some scratches, so it needs to be cleaned up, buffed up. And a good way of doing that is just taking a really fine grit, um, like sandpaper or um, fine grit um, scrubbing cloth and just uh, going over it and you can get out those fine scratches with that uh, Brillo pad something like that um, So I'm gonna say let's do ten dollars. That's a pretty cool piece This is a cool chain, let's see Not marked It is magnetic. It's a gold tone magnetic scroll chain. So it's flat. Um, very pretty. It is a roller clasp. And it's mm, about 23 inches. So very, very nice. I'm gonna say let's do, um, 
$12. This is just um, a wire, magnetic wire. Um, so just a dollar. Uh, let me give you the length on it. Be good for um, a DIY. It is 20 inches, so it's a good size. Here we have a little dove with a rhinestone and the eye. It's on a nylon chain, corded chain. The dove is magnetic and the chain is 16 inches. So I'm just gonna say, such a sweet piece for the dove. I'm gonna say, let's just do, um, a dollar. It's a lot of corded chains in this box. Now this, let's see if this is one or two pieces. <laughs> okay, bonus hair. This is that company we cannot figure out it is a a um, small a and a smaller case e. So um, it has a wire right here. What's the wire for? Just wraps around to hold that little tag on. And these are wood. Um, beads and these are not magnetic it is 46 inches um, but I'm gonna say just um, two dollars and this one is also wood beads they're like air it weighs nothing it is really cool feeling. Thirty six inches, so I'm just gonna say a dollar, but they're very cool. Here we just have a seed bead roller clasp necklace. It is fifteen inches, so I'm just it's a very pretty color, so I'm just gonna say a dollar. This is a cool piece. Um, it's just on a purple cord um, roller class with an extension. And then it has this dragon with this cat's eye, purple cat's eye bead. Um, really cool. It is... Seventeen inches with a two inch extension, and the dragon is an inch and a quarter by an inch. And I'm gonna say the dragon is it's it's not magnetic, but it's like what do you call that? Like not really a metal. So I'm just gonna say I'm four dollars because it's a cute piece. Here we just have a gold tone chain. It is magnetic. It is 20 inches, so I'm just gonna say um, $4. This is unsigned. But it is really cool. It's not cold to the touch, but it's glass. I mean, not glass. Um, roller class, I mean, a lobster clasp. 
16 inches with an inch and a half extension. So I'm just going to say that's what it looks like. So I'm going to say let's just do $5. Here we have a rhinestone bracelet with a fold over clasp. And it is six and three fourths of an inch. Very pretty. So I'm just gonna say um, $4. Here is just a bead ball chain that is not magnetic. It is a roller clasp. I see no marks. Twenty four inches, so I'm just going to say a um, five dollars. Well, isn't this cute? Got a hair. It's just a heart lobster clasp on an extension. Um, a faceted beads. So these are glass, purple faceted glass beads with a real pearl. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love those pearls like that. And um, a very gritty to the feel. Let's give you a, a measurement. The necklace itself is only 13 inches with a four inch extension. So I'm just going to say, let's do, it's gorgeous, pretty, I'm going to say $8. Hmm. Lobster clasp, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven strands of gray to black to these unusual, I don't know what those are. They feel gritty though. Maybe clay, pressed clay. Back to black. These are um, uh, acrylic. The seed beads are glass because um, they're a little cool to the touch. And it's 30 inches on the shortest. So I'm just gonna say, let's do $6. This is um, a stretch bracelet. It's not magnetic, um, but I'm just gonna say a dollar because it's discolored and um, then you see some of the tie so just a dollar. These are hmm, these are lacquered is the best way to describe it of some type of bead. It is on a roller clasp. It is tied in between. It is 18 inches and um, they're interesting. A little discoloration on the roller clasp. So I'm going to say let's do five dollars. They're interesting. Okay. This is cool. This is what it looks like. 
So it is, my guess, a choker. It's a lobster clasp. It is 13 inches with a four and a half inch extension. But this is really cool. This has a three and a half inch hang with these three chains on each side. So it's really a cool choker. Very, very heavy with this um, curb chain. And there is two curb chains there. Um, it's all magnetic. So I'm going to say, let's do, because it's really cool looking, I'm going to say, let's do $9. Here we have a bracelet with these rock clear um, pebbles. Um, they're slightly cool to the touch on a gold chain, and it is adjustable. Um, it is not magnetic, so I'm going to say let's do, I mean, this is pretty, um, it does have some color in it as you turn it around, um, so it could be, um, crystal or quartz, but I don't have my, um, presidium, so I'm just guessing, um, and I'm going to say, Let's do, let's do $8 because it's really cool looking. Here we have a Best Charm Bracelet um, in a gold tone. Um, it looks like it has some discoloration, so I'm just going to say a dollar. No name with this charm that has um, a faceted teardrop that's acrylic, um, just a, um, a disc that's like a, I always have a problem with that word, not medallion, S fill in the blank for me in the comments, <laughs> sorry. This is um, cord wrapped, a tassel and a star, it is twenty four inches with a two and a half inch extension, and the drop is two and a half inches. So I'm just gonna say let's do six dollars. This on a barrel class with these. beads. The um, chain is like super, super thin. Um, uh, super thin in light. It's almost like a fabric chain. It is 26 inches. So I'm just going to say let's do $3. It just gives us a patent number. That's it. And it opens here. You just push it in. It's a lobster class type. Um, and it is a gold and orange twisted rope chain. Very pretty colors. It is 24 inches. So I'm going to say, I love that. I'm going to say $10. Gorgeous. This, no name, gorgeous red, nothing missing. Um, it's on a gunmetal colored chain. It is 15 inches with a three inch extension and a two inch drop. And it's this red color. Um, with a flower. Very, very pretty. Um, so I'm going to say let's just do um, $5 on the red necklace. This one 
of course, gave me a fit as anything that is one of these satellite necklaces. But the beads on here, they're always so pretty to give you so much trouble. <laughs> But this is what it hangs like. So it is really pretty. Um, it is, let's see. So it hangs like that. So I'm, I see this one up here. Supposed to be centered like that, but the way it hangs is it hangs to one side, so it gives the illusion that there's one missing, but there's not. It is a light purple color, is the best way of describing it. It is 16 inches with a two inch extension and a two and a quarter inch drop, so I'm gonna say just. Um, five dollars. We have one side of probably besties, and it's just ties on one end. <laughs> Somebody always gets the worst end of it, you know. Um, 16 inches, one inch, and two inches, so just a dollar. Could be used for a good chain. And then this. No name, a little bit of tone loss on the lobster clasp. It is um, corded rope with um, a chain. It might have supposed to be this look because it is all the way through with this um, copper color coming through, but we have lots of feathers and then we have some metal feathers also. And it is, let's see, let's give you a size, 27 inches with a two and a half inch extension with a six and a half inch drop with these feathers. So, I mean, it's a cool look with all these chains and stuff. I'm going to say, let's do, it's cool, $10. And then we have all these bits and pieces. Earrings, rings. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right. So we have a Hello Kitty with one missing rhinestone right here. Um, it is adjustable. So um, I'm just going to say a dollar. Um, we have this ring with no missing rhinestones. Um, it's about a size six and it is, um, has some tone loss. So I'm just going to say, um, $2. This is just a bubble ring, probably about a size five, uh, and a half. So, um, just a dollar. This one is signed right here, and it says Stella and Dot. That's kind of cool. It's adjustable, and it is um, about right now sitting at about a seven and a half and an eight, but it's really cool. There is no missing rhinestones. Those are really cool. So I'm going to say let's do... Um, $9 for the Stella and Dot. That's pretty. Um, unmarked. Um, it's a notch ring, so a ring could fit into it. Um, but it's a very pretty. It is missing some tone on the prongs. It's about a seven and a half. So I'm just going to say... Um, let's do, because it is missing a little bit of tone, I'm going to just say $9. This one says Leah Sophia, um, 
slightly magnetic. I'm going to say it's a size six. Um, so, um, yeah, between probably a six and a half. So I'm going to say let's do, um, let's do eight dollars for the Leah Sophia. That's a cool one too. This one, gold tone. It's an Avon size eight. So like a crown ring, very pretty. So I'm gonna say, let's do $8 for the Avon. Um, here, no missing rhinestones, unsigned, about a size six. So I'm gonna say just $6 on that one. Um, let's see. I don't see any, oh, here's one more ring. This one is a, um, what do you call that when they swirl? Um, a toggle ring. It has, um, is that crimson? I'm not sure. Um, but it can go that way with the paw or just clear like so. And um, it is not magnetic and it is signed best. It is a size eight. So I'm gonna say let's do $10. That's a cool one. Okay, let me straighten out these earrings see what we have it says inauguration 1971 and it says i believe it's a r f is the it is not magnetic it does look sterling but i'd have to to be positive of course i'm test it when i go home so i'm just gonna say ten dollars um, hmm. just a pendant, it is one and three eighths by one and an eighth, so I'm just going to say, um, three dollars. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is all here. Yeah, some... Something's broke here. So this was another animal. So it was like two animals. And um, so I'm gonna go in uh, bits and pieces. Um, only one of those, only one of these. There's two of these clip-ons. Those are really nice. Um, gold tone clip-on earrings. I'm going to say let's do $3. These are two pens and they're signed Jerry's and they're leaves. Aren't those pretty? So I'm going to say let's do um, $3 a piece for the Jerry Jerry's leaves brooches. We have a pair of hoops here. Not magnetic. They are an inch and a half. So I'm going to say let's just do $3. Here's a pair of clip earrings. These are pretty bright pink and silver tone. So $3. These are pretty um, teardrops that turn, and each one of them is a different texture, like a twist, um, a smooth, and then like a rough, um, and then they all move independently. Um, so these are pretty. Let's see, are they magnetic? No. I'm going to say $5 for these. 
these are cool let's see if I see a mark no um, pierced ears not magnetic with these cute little pink faceted I'm gonna say glass at the end so I'm gonna say five dollars on these and they are two and a half inches um, these just are magnetic and they are just acrylic um, pink so just three dollars these are very pretty these are um, acrylic let's see if they're magnetic they are um, so I'm just gonna say three dollars on these those are cute I like the way they hang let's give you a hang on them two and a half inches so three dollars this one is just a pendant very very pretty it is one and a half inches by an inch. Uh, very pretty. So I'm going to say $5. This is a Zapata um, sterling silver. Um, but I don't see the match. So if somebody wants that one by itself, I'm just going to say... Um, Let's do $8. I mean, there's some pretty earrings, but no matches. And like I said, this is an older um, Goodwill box. Um, these could be a cute match. Um, they're not, but they could be. Um, so if somebody's interested, I'll do these together for um, $2. And, oh, let's see. Hmm. So, these has this piece that goes onto it. So it just needs to be put back on. Um, so DIY, um, just $2 for the um, feather earrings. Okay, I don't see anything else, and I cannot measure this because I do not have um, a scale with me. So I'm going to put these all in a bag, and um, they're going to be in bits and pieces for. Um, ten dollars So the bits and pieces bag is going to be ten dollars. So there you go. That is what we had um, for part two. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave us a thumbs up. If you saw something that interested you, just send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com, and we will send you a PayPal invoice. Um, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below. Be sure you know we appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye!